Ah, yes. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Veterans Minimum. I'm your host, Nick Deus, at Nick Deus 10 on all social media outlets. My guy is in the building. Mr. How you how you feeling, Zach Wilson? <laughs> Man, a lot of rookie, a lot of young quarterbacks struggled yesterday. They did, they did, they did. Not I, a, it here though, because I said my guy Zach Wilson. So maybe they're like, oh shit, he got I, mean, I almost wore the jersey again. Yeah, I'm not backing down. You're not backing down, right? Belichick crushes rookie quarterbacks. Bad, home away don't matter. It doesn't matter. Neutral field, Yo, la- practice field. Last year the Chargers, forty-five to three. We're Herbert. Crazy, right? Yeah. Just every, everybody. The only one that he hasn't gotten was Mahomes. They played that like wild shootout. But he wasn't a rookie. He wasn't a rookie. You're right. But it was his first start. But yeah, man. No. His first start was the year before. But I'm saying it was his first start against the Pats. Got so it. So it was the first time that the Pats saw him. He saw the Pats. But it was funny because I immediately was texting you yesterday. You did. And I answered right away. You know what kind of frustrated me? For, I mean, I don't know if we're going to talk about it. We don't have to spend that much time on that game, but I don't even know what we're going to talk about at what point, but I want to just say this. The Jets running attack, bro, did very well yesterday. I was, I feel like it was kind of a letdown by the coaching staff. Mm. What was it that upset you? Michael Carter, 5.4 yards per carry. Ty Johnson, 4.2 yards per carry. Tevin Coleman, 4.8 yards per carry. Pretty much five yards per carry and four yards per carry from three different running backs. They have a committee approach. It's just I feel like they set him up for failure in a sense that the game wasn't out of reach. If you watch that game, they were still in it at halftime, despite all the interceptions. It was still a close game. The Jets' defense came to play yesterday, and I feel like they were trying to do too much, you know? Which was dope because Jets have been just shanked by defensive injuries. Left and right. And so I was very impressed with the defense. And even Simmons said it, who's obviously a massive Patriots guy. He said, like, the Jets' defense was in his face the whole game, in, in Mac Jones' face the whole game. Um, and so I I just felt like I have all the confidence in the world in Zach Wilson, but I do feel like he's a rookie playing against one of the best defensive minds of all time. And, you know, he threw a lot of interceptions yesterday. I think it was four. But one of them, I'll, you know, I watched that game very closely. One of them went right – one of the balls went right through Corey Davis's hands. Granted, he had like a check down that he should have won too, I think. He tried to make the bigger play. Mm. Nonetheless, the receiver was open. It just The ball just went right through his hands. Another ball was like a, 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 a tip pass, and there was a deflection. A couple of them were just terrible throws. Like There were some that, that just— That were bad. I'm not, I'm not taking that away from him. But I, then it, if you fast forward to that Sunday night football game, Lamar threw a pick that was egregious too. It's a triple coverage. Burrow, Burrow threw three picks on three straight passes. Yeah, that was wild. That Bears D and DFS, it, I couldn't believe that shit. It, it, it was a weird day all around. You know, I'm not two will get hurt yesterday. Like, it was just a very weird day for young quarterbacks. And I just, I chalk it up to, like, the game plan. I think it, I think. They shouldn't have as shouldn't have been as aggressive. Rookie quarterback against Belichick, you're you're down your best player, your left tackle, your best offensive lineman. He's not playing like I just and you're running the ball so well. You know what I mean? I just felt like they should have played a little bit more of a closer, mm. you know, a, a closer knit type type of game, as opposed to trying to air it out. You know, like that his time will come to do that. You know, you don't have to do that. You know, you don't have to throw the ball. For, I how many times did he throw the ball yesterday? Well, it's interesting how they were able to to get, you know, if you, if you get four yards per carry, it kind of equates to getting a first down every three downs, right? So you don't need to throw as much as as they were. The 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 thing that sucked the most were some of those interceptions were so bad. Yes. And then also, I might be looking into this too much, but what do you make of a crowd booing him? Is that just being in New York? Yeah. It's also just like four picks. I know, bro. And it's it, weird because it's the home mm-hmm. opener. It's the first time you see him, the new guy in town. It's like it's New York, booed. man. It's tough. Yeah, it but you know tough. what I loved after the game? You know what he said? And he goes, "I should have got booed." Got I would feel the that. same way, you know. Like, yeah, it's a different story if you know if you didn't throw four picks. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe that's a different story. But I mean, yo, he took he single handedly kind of took them out of the game yesterday. I think it was thirteen three at halftime, and. Again, it was a very it was a closer game than people. Twenty five six at the end of the game, 
It was 13-3 at halftime. The Patriots only scored nine points in the third quarter, and they scored three points in the in the, in the – they scored one touchdown the entire game. Yeah, Nick Folk revenge. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> I I wouldn't be surprised if 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 – you know, if the offensive attack changes a little bit next week, maybe that was the game plan. Maybe the game plan was like we need to kind of go vertical down the field on them and, and make some big chunk plays. Maybe that was the case. I'm not sure, but again, the defense played really well. You know, it's I know the Jaguars and the Jets play each other at some point this year. So another dude that's been struggling too. It's different when your receivers aren't wide open. Your receivers aren't wide open. You're playing professional football players and also the the weapons what weapons would you rather have jacksonville or the jets probably jacksonville the re- jets don't have much of a run game in terms of like what do they say about when you have three running backs you have none uh, well They're, they mostly say that about quarterbacks like if you got you got too many quarterbacks i think like, in any position yeah, yeah but i mean i like the kid they drafted michael carter out of unc he'll probably kind of you know, take more and more carries. Um, Matt, Jets have, like, one pretty good receiver, one rookie, Elijah Moore. Mm. I don't know. The ETN injury hurts. That's a good question, though. I'm not sure how to answer that. Who has better weapons? I would say it's close. You know, now that I think about it, I think it's Jacksonville. Chark, Chenault, Marvin Jones connected on a touchdown yesterday. James Robinson. James Robinson. Yeah. Yeah, it's two teams where I think you got to be patient with these guys, man. Because, yeah. you know, the last thing you don't want to do is just completely just ruin a dude's confidence. And there's no coming back from that. Nope. Bro, I was thinking about you all day yesterday. One, because you're my guy. Two, when Tua got hurt. Not that we were we never wish injury on anyone. But one thing that you said on that episode last week, you're like, yo, I've seen enough to know that Tua is not the guy. I started replaying conversations we had with Allen, too. Like, yo, maybe those Watson rumors were real. Of course. Maybe they did want him. Because, man, he, he just looks like he can't make throws, bro. He's got to work inside the numbers. And that's cool if you build your offense around that, but you're still limiting yourself. Yeah. It's like, again, as I said last week, it's, 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 it's RPO, one read, maybe two throw it away or run it's a very college offense mm. and again if you're lamar jackson and you and you're one of the most lethal runners of all time at the quarterback position that's a different story yeah you know what i mean For and sure. lamar also has a hose too he's a great deep ball thrower yeah. so i'm not comparing to i'm just saying if you want to have that type of a rpo quick read offense that's fine but i think the athlete needs to be a little bit better and two is kind of injury prone so, and I'm sure, you know, he's not the biggest guy either. You know, I'm not saying Lamar's big, but he's freaking lightning. And so is Kyler Murray in a way too. You know, he's, he's like faster than everybody else. Yeah. So, um, I hate to say it. And you, and to your point, you hate, you hate wishing injury upon anyone and, and, and no one is, but it's tough. It's, it's tough. You know, 35, nothing. They got the doors blown off yesterday. Dude, my dad texted me at like 1130. I don't know if you saw my tweet. Oh, he, he, he was, was on like, the bills yesterday, right? Like, hey, I kind of like Buffalo. They lost last week. I think they bounced back here. Miami won. I was like, ah, home opener. It's South Beach. It feels kind of trappy. I'd stay away from that one. Text me at like 3.30. He goes, how about that trap? I was like, damn, Pop. Why are you doing this to me, dog? We're part of the, one of the reasons why you're worried is just teams when they go to Miami. You know, it's the Miami flu. Is that one of the things that is yeah, that in the back also, of your head? It was, it was weird. Yeah, that. But also it was weird because... Why is Buffalo favored? Like, Buffalo was favored in Miami. Three and a half. It just it was a line that just felt like they which, wanted you to take Buffalo. Which means they're actually a six and a half point favorite on a neutral field, correct? Yes. So. Yeah. And then in Buffalo, they'd be a nine and a half point favorite. Yeah. So, right before kickoff, they show a graphic on one of those uh, web not websites, but one of those like pregame shows. I forgot mm-hmm. which one I had. Josh Allen's most successful games have been against Miami. I was like, oh, that's a nice graphic to see right beforehand. I was glad to see that he bounced back a bit. I mean, that's why I think you could take Buffalo for real. I was very impressed with Buffalo yesterday. Yeah, they beat the shit out of Miami, and did they luck out because Tua got hurt? I, I won't debate you on that. However, 
if you're a team that is serious, if you're a team that you want to have Super Bowl aspirations, you need to do what Buffalo did. You go in to a division game on the road, coming off a loss. They're feeling good. They're coming off a win against a team that's been dominating them for 20 fucking years. Yep. And you beat the shit out of them, right? Loved what happened in Cleveland, right? You lose. You come home. You're playing the Texans. You're not looking past them. Yeah, you fell behind a little bit. You had that scare, another scare. A lot of scares with the quarterbacks yesterday, bro. Baker, Tua. Yeah. Uh, uh, Derek Carr. Derek Carr. We'll get to Carr in a little bit. We'll get to Carr in a little bit. You saw my tweet? Shout out to my guy, Kenny, man. Kenny King Jr. sent me this shirt a while back. I had to wear it because Raiders 2-0. He's been letting me know, man. We're going to get to that in a little bit. Shout out to Kenny, though. But all these guys go down, and then Baker comes back, and they go back to what works. Ground and pound. With play Chubb, action, play action, and then bam, you beat them. Yeah, they were they were losing at at some point in the second quarter because my boy, T Mobile, Ty God. I'm just saying, man. And, Yo, and what is so he now? Fun. What is he now? Top top twelve to fifteen quarterback in the league? Well, no, he got hurt. Now I think it's uh, it's um, yeah. it's what's his name's time. No, I can't think of his name. Is it Mills or Wells? Davis Mills. Mills, yeah. So I heard. Um, I heard that the Patriots were going to take him if Mac Jones was off the board. Stop. I swear to God. Where? Not, though? maybe not, at, uh, maybe not there, but, you know, maybe like a Jimmy G pick. Second round, end of the first, something like that. That was the guy that had links links to Belichick, but hmm. Mac Jones fell to them and then the rest is history. Um Slow down. The rest is history. Like he won fucking four Super Bowls, bro. Just, he's, you know. It's going to be good. You like Mac, right? Yeah. He's very, he's, 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 the, He's a Belichick guy. He's a Belichick and, and McDaniel's guy in, in terms of um, he's 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 a computer. He could process information better than anybody else. You know, I think all of those like reports out of New England of like him teaching Cam the playbook. I think there was some truth to that. I don't know if he was maybe teaching him the playbook, but you know, I think there were certain plays that were built out for 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 Mac, and there were certain plays that were built out for Cam. And I think obviously Mac had like a better understanding and a, a stronger. Uh, a grasp of, of some of those types of plays. And so may, may, maybe in that capacity, but he's just a machine. You can just see him processing information. For Cerebral, sure right? Like yeah, before the great. snap two already, he's this not, he's, second ex- start. Yes, he's not a great athlete. He doesn't have a hose, but he's extremely... Who does, I mean, who, who does that remind you of? Like Brady has a hose, so, you know, we'll, we'll take him off the, off the, you know, out of the conversation, but... He's a quarterback that is extremely accurate and he's extremely smart. You know what I mean? Like, you could make that work. You yeah, make it work. And their offense isn't vertical anyway, really, right? Yeah. So, yeah, they're built. They're built very similar to Cleveland, but Cleveland got way better weapons. Way. Better. Cleveland got guys that could win one-on-one battles. Yeah. Where I don't know if the Patriots really do. Yeah, the tight ends maybe, but again, depending on what the matchup is. Yeah. Um. Damian Harris looks great. He does. Um, he'll probably win some people some fantasy leagues, I think. Um, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna two tight end you to death. They're gonna run the ball up the middle, run play action, and then run those those short and intermediate routes. And you know, I I think Mac is set up pretty well. 